Happy birthday to me. <laughs> So, hi guys, it's my birthday today and unfortunately I only got money for my new tattoo. So I can't do a haul to show you, in fact the only thing I got was a little Italia Russia plushie off my sister. Uh, Italia is one of my favourite shows and Russia is my absolute favourite character. Uh, so I got that, so there, that's my haul. And I'm sure you'll see the tattoo once it's done with Phil. <laughs> I'm sure you'll see the tattoo once it's done in a couple of weeks. It's going to be super awesome. But today I wanted to do a video to talk about how I maintain my pale skin because it was super duper hot today. In fact, it's been the hottest it's been all year. My necklace is squinty. Hold on. There's this thing uh, in Scotland, it's called Tapsaf which means tops off and that's the kind of thing where you see the women and the men wearing really too little clothing like yeah sure it's warm but they're wearing so little clothing that it's kind of gross and it's usually kind of middle-aged fat kind of uh, it's not nice uh, so there's been jokes going around that that is officially happening today it was happening a little yesterday but especially today I was in town and there was just naked people, not naked people, uh, semi-naked people everywhere, it was kind of a bit. So yeah, uh, uh, back to the topic of the video, I'm going to be talking about how I stay pale. Um, so, luckily, because I live in such a normally cold place, um, there's not really that much sun, so it's fairly easy to stay pale. You tend to find that most of the people that are um, tanned here have put on fake tan. Um, you don't find a lot of naturally tanned people just from going out in Scotland. It's really hard to get a tan here normally. Um, so that's fine. But as well as doing that, I also kind of actively avoid sunlight. I really hate the feeling of um, strong sunlight on my skin. It's one of my um, big kind of phobias. I really don't like it. Um, and I am terrified of being sunburnt, so I'm always super duper careful. If it's a warm day like today, I usually try and use at least factor 30, and if I can get it factor 50. Uh, today it caught me off guard, so I only used 20, but it was okay because I wasn't out so much, um, and I'm still okay. Uh, but yeah, I always put on sunscreen if it's a nice day. And then if it's not so nice a day but it's still a little sunny, I'm usually covered up anyway because it's not that warm. So that usually sorts it all out. So I'm going to show you a couple of things I use to kind of help maintain uh, paleness. Right now, now this is kind of slightly embarrassing but because I'm so pale it's really hard to find a affordably priced foundation that suits me. So what I do, and I'm going to probably make a video explaining how this works soon, is what I do is I use a grey base paint, like I dilute it and then I put it on my face and then I use um, usually like black to uh, contour and then I put the foundation over it and then I set up the powder and I find that that kind of gets rid of some of the red in my face and makes the foundation paler, um, if that makes sense. Um, I use grey just because I figured that would help a bit better with the redness, but I'm sure that white would work and it was super cheap. I actually bought two of these and if I open this one up, is, this one is the one I've used. I've been using this for a few months now and it's uh, barely, barely used even though I've been using it every day, like this is going to last forever. Let's see if I can open it up without getting... You can see there, it's still a full tray of paint. So I've got two of them, so that will last me a very long time. Oh, I've got paint all over my hands now. <sighs> Another thing I do, 
Um, I kind of do this on and off because um, I forget about it, but I've got these fade out uh, creams and my mum got these from Boots. I don't know how much they are, I don't know if they still stock them since it's been a while, but I'm sure you could find something similar. Um, this is the day cream and I used it today so it's kind of, let me screw that back on properly. This is the day cream and it's got SPF 15 so what I do is I put that on my face uh, before I put on the face paint and everything else. Um, I usually do it just after I wash my face um, and it says it's an advanced white and bright complex with niacinamide and active natural ingredients. Uh, it protects from the effects of the sun and it's clinically proven to significantly lighten and brighten skin in just four weeks. Uh, overall skin tone will appear more even and look younger. Um, and it actually, if you open up, let's get a little tab, open it and it smells amazing. Uh, I can't even name what it smells like. It kind of, uh... You know what, I can't even name it. It's really nice though. Um, kind of... I'm thinking licorice. It's t it smells a bit licorice-y. Um, and I don't like licorice, but it smells nice, so yeah. And the nighttime one is like the same thing that you put on at night because it doesn't have the SPF 15 yep. and yeah it smells of licorice as well uh, so yeah I used those and they weren't that expensive they were maybe like 10 pounds for both of them I'll show you the foundation I've got and I'll sh just show you um <sighs> okay this is the foundation I use it's the Avon Ideal Flawless Invisible Coverage Foundation with SPF 15 uh, in the lightest pink shade and I've, I'm pretty sure that this is the one that is the lightest shade you can get and it's still too dark. If I'll show you, I'll put it on my hand just a little bit so I'm running out of it. That wasn't a little bit. Hold <laughs> on. Right. So Oh, this is where the lighting's going to bugger up on me. So you can see it's quite pink, and if I just rub in a little bit, all over my hand. <sighs> Blends that a bit better. You can see it's kind of uh, too dark, way too dark. So. Yeah, I can't use that. I get a makeup wipe. There's a makeup wipe. Um, so yeah, I need to use the... I've been needing to use something to lighten my skin for ages. So aside from all those things, uh, I don't really do that much. Like, most of the uh, work is just basic common sense and a slight bit of sun avoidance. Um, I don't really go out in the sun that much because I don't like it. Um, so uh, I'm really pale now. <laughs> um, this is still on my hand. Um, so yeah, um, just basic common sense. Don't get badly sunburned and don't stay out for ages if you want pale skin. It's kind of obvious but yeah so that's just a couple of things I use I'm sure you could find something similar if you're wanting to look paler um, this stuff I originally bought for my um, Adventure Time Marceline cosplay and I was mucking about with it and actually realized that if I put on uh, light enough that it actually suits <laughs> my skin better than this, which is a bit scary, um, but yeah, so I find that this really works and you don't really see through it, it just creates a lighter base, so everything is lighter, it's weird, um, so yeah, uh, that's all I wanted to say, thanks for watching and uh, enjoying all my videos, uh, I passed 666 subscribers, 
yesterday, which is awesome and stereotypical, but awesome. So uh, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.